our second playthrough of the afternoon mayday here as we get set to go to Shadowthorn uh, by GCS Insane. He was one of our alternates in the World Cup, got in thanks to a couple of withdraws, and he ends up in Group D. He is the second course to publish out of Group D. Uh, we've got uh, Matt already in, Matt up 27. But uh, Group D, maybe not as uh, vigorous as E and F, but now we've got two out of C. We've got two out of D. Uh, still one each out of A and B. And then all of E and F are in. We're still waiting on G and H. Um, I know Nitro was in our our chat for the previous course, and he said he is getting close. I know uh, Dylan's getting close. Uh Grovey always likes to play things under wraps. Sindre has gone just complete ghost mode, which usually means he's about to drop something really impressive. Q's sweating the last minute. Haven't heard much from Junya, but uh, still a lot of... I think there's going to be a lot of intrigue near the publish deadline, which, uh, by the way, folks, is 14 days, 11 hours... And 42 minutes away. But who's counting? We're coming up on the two-week window. It's uh, midnight Eastern on the 31st of March that our published window is going to be. Uh, just looking from the info that uh, Brian sent the judges, uh, he does say this is intended to play on the hard side, so kind of geared toward a leader platinum tour play uh, some large deep penalizing bunkers he says as well and it is a brute uh, as you can see 7800 yards from the tips first time I've had a chance to play it well you would have seen all of that if I had the right screen on whoopsie Hans darn it Yeah, I'll go ahead and show the scorecard to uh, to illustrate the point here. Really nice look, for sure. All right. There we go. Pull up the scorecard. 78-31 from the tips. Uh, par, par 73... So that is, uh, that's actually our second par 73 of the contest. Um, Strathlorn was also a par 73. I, I think that's part of the name. Uh, I haven't really looked closely. I'll, I'll be honest, haven't looked that closely at his OP uh, to get the backstory here. Um... I'll go ahead and throw that in the chat. But, uh... Shadowthorn is named for the massive petrified tree that cast a shadow across the heart of the course. Is what he says. So, alrighty. He really came on with his uh, Dream Team course. Uh, I, I would argue that uh, if there was a most improved designer award in the Dream Team, that he would have won it. Um, his work was miles better than what we saw out of him in the CC contest. And it was great to see. And uh, I'll be interested to see if he takes another step up here. Again, we're not doing a ton of judging here. But... Uh, Interested to see what he has done with the place. Certainly a pretty looking course. I I flew around earlier to get the the glamour shot for our, our teasers on on Twitter and 
in the course uh, completed uh, our course list. Oh, that was a terrible putt. We almost got away with it. Well, I can't kick him out of the contest for not birdie in the first hole because that was my own stupidity. That wasn't the course's fault. That, by the way, the running joke. Ooh. Ha <laughs> ha. Unless you've got a massive tail wet wind, if you try try making that shot, you're a fool. That is a sucker of a tee shot if I've ever seen one. Oh, but I'm going to miss the fairway left, aren't I? Slow down. Damn it. Hey, Bundy, yeah, we're at, uh, uh, of the main field courses, we're at 14. Um, wanting all four inning groups, E and F. Uh, two each out of C and D. There's one of those deep bunkers. Um, and then one each out of A and B. We also have six alternates who are in. And we are two weeks from the deadline, so action really going to be picking up here down the stretch, I feel. Birdie out of the bunker. Got to love to see it. bit of a redan here. Not full on, but kind of the same principle. Not full on because the green does... Eh, it's pretty flat. Doesn't really slope all the way to the back. But you do definitely want to hit right of the hole here. Kind of let the slopes do the talking for you. Great scenery. My goodness. Oh, get on the right side of that knob. Uh-oh. I will be happy with a two putt from here. Very happy with that leg. Cape style hole here. Out over this kind of a quarry lake. I think we're going to find one of those bunkers. Well? We just found out how deep those bunkers are. Oh, this would feel like a mega four if we could drop this. Uh 
Ah, I pushed it. Well, we almost got away with two out of the same bunker. Almost a bit of a lion's mouth up there. Wide sweeping vistas though. Sight lines for days. There's a shot. Bounce back bird right there. Is that six up ahead? No, it isn't. What, 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 the, what was that hole in the distance? Was hmm. What were you showing me, game? It looked intriguing, whatever it was. Oh, we've got a... Uh, somebody alert, Dylan. We've got a shared green. drivable four, but obviously extremely deep bunkers. I mean, look at this. Uh, just look at my uh, height cursor here. So there's almost a 10 foot difference from the pan of this bunker to the fairway grade. About an 8 foot difference there or there. And you know we gotta go for it, right? Oh no. That's alright. I think we can I think we re can recover from this one. Alrighty, there you go. Routine birdie. Just got a peek of the clubhouse there in the back for just a brief second. We'll look at that closer when we come up 9 and 18. That's where I ended up taking my glamour shot. That's a, I thought that was a really cool look. Uh, I'd feel a little less comfortable in a different win, but I think I can carry this. These bunkers almost almost have a little bit of a, a McRainer kind of feel to them. Not completely geometric, but nobody wants to see that. <laughs> oh, bollocks. Well, I'm far enough back, I think, where... Uh, Maybe just got away with this. Yeah, you do not want to be in the fronts of these bunkers. Up near the lip. That is almost a death sentence.
But if you're far enough back at him, you still do have the chance to recover. Ooh, hello. Okay, that must be the green we saw in the, the cutscene earlier. All right. Ooh. All right, I, I gotta, I gotta fight the wind here. I think. Just begging for a for a cut. I don't think I've played well. That actually ain't bad. That is really good. Well, she may tip out at over seventy eight, but so far and I'll probably end up eating these words, but uh so far, we're playing pretty good. Four under, par five coming up here. All right, this is the clubhouse area I wanted to show off. I that I like that with the waterfall and the dam up here. That's pretty cool. This is so difficult because, especially for someone who hits the fast, who's playing that draw, all of this runs away. We've talked about it in a few playthroughs already. That that really seems like the fast guard, uh, a dog leg from left to right that is off camber to make it really difficult for a guy who likes to work the ball from right to left. Huh, I wonder. Eh, maybe not quite to this pin. Well, that still might not be a terrible play. Try to run one up here and use this little ramp. Get it onto the back of the green and just kind of skirt around this bunker. Okay, not quite there, but that was a fun little shot. Not a great effort from my behalf. Al yeah, careless three putt par. Oh well. Still making the turn in 32. Could have easily been 30. That's okay. Ooh, back-to-back -back par fives. I think that is the, uh, I want to say that's the second time we've seen this in the contest. I know Burnt Pines did that with 9 and 10. Um, I believe this is the second time we've seen, I, I can't recall anybody else going back-to-back -back on the par fives. Massive green, but it's all, all slope. Ooh. I like that. Draw it into the bank. Hopefully, take off a little oomph. Let it trickle down. 
Here, let's not three putt this one, eh? Boom, let's go. Super chicken. Um, where? Okay. <laughs> I, what was my avatar doing there? Using the Euro Club or? <laughs> what was that? That's a pretty little part three. Release a little bit. I don't know how that one missed. Back down to the valley here. Oh, and that is not out of bounds. Oh, but it's so, so tempting to try to put one off the path here. And certainly you get a better angle the further left you go. Oh, YOLO. We got it. We got it. We got it. Was that going to run through the fairway now? Oh, man. We may have just taken the Bryson line on this hole. And can't finish the putt. Oh my goodness. Boy, our, our flat sticks let us down a couple of holes here. Ooh, Mondo Cape. Looks like it's 476 the way the crow flies. Um. Huh. There is no tree there. That is very tempting. But we will play the hole as intended. I don't feel like dealing with karma today. And no, not Vic. And we still got plenty of, still a pretty easy way to get into the green in two. That releases just a little bit. Oh, yeah. Well, let's not screw the pooch here on this putt, eh? Uh. 
about that. You see what 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 what, what, what happened was we had a terrible thought. Ooh. Rugged piece of land here. I will just say this. I have not sat down to formally judge this course. I can't even divulge whether this is one of the courses I have been assigned to the first round or not. But I will make a general statement that uh, so far uh, the two alternates who have published and gotten in certainly have... Uh, they feel like they've held more than their own weight. Uh, they, they, they certainly do not look out of place here. This uh, GCS Insane was an alternate in the original field, got in due to a, due to a withdrawal. Heisenberg, same deal. And, uh, yeah, these, uh, they certainly uh, fit right in the quality that we've had overall in this contest. Well, figure if you hit it close enough, you're bound to make one, right? Got here. Ooh, another short, potentially drivable par four. Green slopes are the main defense here. And yeah, I almost want that off the green. I think that's almost the better uh, situation there. All right, so what do we want to do here? carry a little bit. See if we can finally make one of these. There it is. Not a great putting line, but it went down. God, I'm nine under and I, f I feel like I should easily be 12. Ah, Crazy. Oh, hold on. Uh oh. Well, actually, all things considered, not a bad lie out of the heavy rough. Just chase it up there. There we go. The game says, go ahead, let's take another look at that. So we will. Just a couple of holes to go, and then again, don't forget after this uh, game. Uh, after 
this. Coming up in about 13 minutes from now, we'll head over to Victory Lane Sports Channel. Do some uh, Dibbit Derby coming up. And I'm just trying to... Hmm. Tough little green here. All right, I think I know what I want to do. I'm going to do something like that. I want to work a little bit of a fade in here. stay up. Boy, I feel like if my putter was on at all, this would be a, a special round. All right, home hole here. Uh, another Cape Style par 5. Oh, do I. Do I dare long way in if I don't if you can somehow cover the number you got a much better chance of getting home wind is slightly hurting about 285 to cover the bunker oh what the hell nope did not need that. Oh, I didn't need that. And this becomes a layup. To an extremely long... Wow, that green is massive. right between clubs. Oh, run a little. Run a little. Get up there. Oh, I needed to get in that little bowl where that pen is located. This is just a wild ass guess, I'm being honest here. Well, we got the speed right. Do we have the line? Not terrible. I will take a par at the last, considering where I hit that off the tee. 63, and again, it felt like I could have gone. I, I, I really felt like 59 wasn't out of the realm of possibility. Um, considering some of the putts I missed and a couple of the opportunities uh, that I left out there. So, anyway, th there it is. That is a GCS Insane's course. Shadowthorn for the World Cup contest. Again, taking a look at the bracket. He is there in Group F, or excuse me, Group D. I did that on Twitter this morning, too. I accidentally put him in Group F in my post. and I just blame that on a lack of coffee uh, this morning when I did the, did the tweet. Uh, but he's there... Um, Matt F. also complete is in the uh, in Group D, 
Yeah, Eric, let me know when you go live, and we will we will toss over the raid right away. Because uh, we're pretty much wrapped up here. Uh, just kind of buying a little time until you're all set and ready to go. Uh, so Group D, Kachina Canyon Trail, uh, is where uh, that is going to be. Uh, again, you can check out all the courses that have published so far here. All the, all the graphics that you see on Twitter are, are copied and pasted here. Um, all the courses, uh, we got links to the course, course completed th threads uh, that they have as well. So that is your best one-stop shop to see who all has published and what they've got coming. Uh, there are a couple here. By the way, uh, Cheshire Royal so far, uh, Black Horse and the alternates that are 18 holers. Uh, should we have one or two more DNFs uh, uh, could be filling the field. Hall's Balls is the next one in should we have uh, uh, another DNF, but I'm not quite sure where he's at as far as his course. Uh, obviously, uh, eligible to use the, um, or take part in the nine-hole contest as well. So, yeah, we're, we're getting down there. Like I said, we are just about two weeks away. In fact, uh, 11.59 p.m. Eastern on the 31st. That is two weeks from tonight. That's when all these courses are due. We have 14 in. My Im imagination is, yeah, like we usually see. You know, we usually see you know, a nice little flood of courses early on. I was in spirit for uh, sure. You're still on it. We've got a flood of courses that usually come in early on. It, it kind of tapers out in the middle of the publish window, and then it gets real hot and heavy uh, right toward deadline. So I do imagine next week especially, next or not this weekend, but the following weekend and early next week, uh, we will have a lot of stuff going on. All righty. Um, just got word that... Uh, Victory Lane Sports is live, so why don't we go ahead and send the raid on over there. We will be back with you in just a minute over on his channel to check out some Divot Derby. So go ahead, let's jump over. Uh, I'll be over there in a couple of minutes, got to take care of a couple of things, but uh, we'll be over shortly. <laughs> 